have about no with disability. So if you want to hear about that, click around my this video. If you're new here and want to see a disability awareness video three times a week, don't be shy. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Uh, comment down below what is the weirdest uh, that you have heard. And my entire video, if you know somebody that might benefit from it, have a right into it. Because he is also in a wheelchair. It is very important 
that you don't automatically assume anything about a person's disability or how they how they are feeling health wise because truth be told, no matter how many times we tell somebody about our disability or the pain we're having or how hard it is to deal with our disability, somebody coming in from the able body will never truly be able to hear uh to understand it 100% of the time. Yeah, you can hypnotize with her and say, oh, I'm sorry that you, that your back is hurting. Is there anything to do? But it's important, anything that I can do. However, it's important not, it's important not to say, oh, I have back pain too. And hear how you hit it because not every pain that you have is relatable to somebody with a disability pain level. So thank you for, thank you to the person that put that option in there because it is important to recognize that you, even though you might have something similar to the person, you may not always know 100% of the time how they actually are doing, how, why, and how they will hear, um, and how they hear and how to hear them, basically. Um, my next one is, I assume that each disability is unique. This is also a wonderful option to make about those with disability because absolutely no one disability is the same. No matter if we are all advocating for the same type of need and services we may need, that doesn't mean our disability is the same as someone you may know that also had that disability. For example, I have cerebral party and my cerebral party has my whole entire body, both my own and both my men and the way I talk, but I know her. I have uh, one of my hands, here's me my, one of my hands has we were pointing at well and he's walking and talking and doesn't have the speech impairment and it only has one of her own. And then I know people who have cerebral pointing who have um who are in wheelchair and can't walk and are wheelchair bound and can't talk. So yeah, it is important to realize that each disability is unique. Even if it's one huge umbrella disability in my cerebral party. Also on that topic, it is also important to realize and nobody put this as an option, but I wanted to hold this one in here as well. It is also important to realize that not every physical disability hung with a mental disability. Because I know that it's really hard to know if that person is able to communicate or understand what you're saying. But when you're approaching somebody with a disability, I might tell people always assume that that person can understand what you're saying and do what you want because that way you won't run the risk of hurting them because I know for me personally I don't like it when people when I'm out in public and people talk down to me or talk to the person I'm with because they see my walker and automatically assume because I'm in a walker that means 
that I have a million many how it also wow is disability is unique. It is also really important to realize that not all physical disability is for mental disability as well or sometimes he will see the opposite of that. Not all mental disability means physical disability as well. Um, the next one is a person, a person disability defines who they are as an individual. And while a disability is a huge part of somebody's life, that absolutely does not, it's not the only defining factor of that individual. So I remember I have a rainbow party, but I also I do a horseback riding. I I make hanging out with him. I make going to the mall. I make doing art. I am the owner and founder of the YouTube channel that you're watching right now. So I have many more things that that define me in addition to my disability. Oh no, a disability is not the only defining factor of an individual. Um, people with disability are brave, courageous, and inspiration for a living with their disability. Now, uh, now I can see where somebody would Tell me the impediment. Like, oh, I might be walking around the park with something, and someone might be like, oh, you're so brave for inspiration for doing that. And while that is a nice hot moment, it's important to realize that many people with a disability can do a lot of things that able bodied individuals can do as well. So while we might be having to work harder to do something or to achieve something and that might not make an inspiration for somebody that is able body, it's important to realize that that is our normal daily life. That is how we miss our life every day as a human. So while it might must make more doing something for must make more an inspiration to do for doing a certain activity that um that may not be true for that certain activity. So I advise you before assuming that that person is um an inspiration for me walking around the poor that you consider using that hot moment and that comment for a more advanced activity that maybe you would do and consider yourself in inspiration for doing that same activity as well. I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. I'm not really poor. Um, a disability must be visible, and this is a big one because I, when I'm out in public and I'm using the handicap parking lot, sometimes I will look at a person and know, oh my God, why is he parking in a handicap lot? He is not handicapped because I can't see their disability. But it is important to realize that there are harness illnesses, harness pain, um, harness illnesses, harness pain, invisible disability that people may not talk about. So no, every, every disability certainly does not have to be visible to a human eye. However, I do have to say that if you are parking in a handicap lot, as I've talked about, most, most of those people have a minimal disability, but please remember that not all the 
for Melanie or Venable. And my and my math one is if someone with a disability has an aid with them, I can simply talk to my aid and not 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 the disabled person because they won't understand. Now I believe me address this um I believe me address this option earlier in today video, but I miss the assist me say it amen. It is my recommendation that when you are coming up to someone with a disability that you always talk you always talk from a person with that disability and not the aid before you talk to the aid. That way you can at least Miss that person a chance to respond if they can, and then if they can't answer you or whatever, that is my opportunity to their parent or aide to tell you that, as opposed to you automatically assuming that somebody can't.